Well, I mean, I, you know, I, I don't know that I would know how to answer that because if it wasn't for Raphael, I mean, I don't think I'd ever have the vis- the um, gumption to do a Kickstarter campaign because I am a loner and a lot of writers that I know are loners and, you know, and also, I mean, this is the other thing that I feel like um, it takes a lot of energy to write a good script. And, you know, and you have to be in your room a lot, alone. And um, I don't know that I could write properly if I also had to do that. I couldn't. It's, it would be so draining. Like if I have a, a, a lunch, even if it's a girlfriend or something, and I very rarely do, I very rarely go out and have, you know, business lunches. Or, I'm wiped for the day. It's draining, you know, and to present yourself. And... He's doing it because, it, as a director, it's it's a more forceful, I think, persona anyway. But if I, when when young writers, you know, call me and say, um, you know, how do I get my script shown or seen or read, I deeply believe that if a script is good, it will eventually get read. Doesn't mean it's going to get made, but it. Like the first scripts I wrote, they never got made, but they um, introduced me to people that then would say, um, hey, I really like that script. I can't make that one, but would you be, you know. And I think young writers, it's very um, compelling for them to, and seductive for them to go, hmm, what's on trend this week? Let me write that. But if they don't write something that is personally revealing, you know, even if it's, you know, a gothic mystery or sci-fi, you know, whatever, whatever direction, if it doesn't reveal them and their voice, then it's just like a thousand other scripts that are trying to catch the trend of the day. And they're, they're fungible and bland, you know, and I would just say to the writer, because I'm sure everybody, you know, there's so many ambitious, you know, every, the most ambitious people from every high school come here.